Hey guys, Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric. This is the third part of this video for the spot welders. Um, it's going to be used in an auto body shop. And I want to talk to you today real quick about the voltage drop that I had seen in that. Um, let's look at chapter 8, table 9. Again, we're in the 2017 code in this book. This video is done in January 2018. Um, it's going to show you here, chapter 8, table 9, page 115. I hope you can see that. Um, an 8 gauge wire circular mill is 16,510. And a 6 gauge wire is 26,240. Those are the numbers I want to focus on. You're going to find your voltage calculation in 210.19. Talks about it right here for your minimum and capacity size of branch circuits. If you're feeding basically 3% for branch circuit, 5% for your feeders and branch circuits consistently all together here's your voltage drop formula it's two kill circ divided by circular mill equals voltage drop in this case you're using three conductors for hot for three phase so you'll do three times your constant k and this form was copper and that's number 12 amps 60 your length divided by circular mill and that was chapter 8 table 9 so just to show you that real quick, um, the other thing I wanted to express to you was that you were in Article 400 for your cord, because most of this was done based off of the length of that SO cord. And I will show you that here. We are page 412 under what they had was an SJ0 or OOW cord. And that is going to be rated right here for three current carrying conductors. A, column A, 6 gauge, if 45 amp. Then you're also going to make sure that's the correct cord. And there we are. Oil resistive thermostat, uh, thermostat with a damp location to to dry. Also rated as wet, and it is a hard surface cord, which is looks like to me whoever ran that was fine. We can reuse that. So then to go into the calculation. One of the welders was 140 foot away with the cord and the other one was 60. So let's use the 60. I hope you can see this. We're gonna take three times a constant of 12 times the voltage drop, 60 feet times 60 amps. It's 1,209. 129,600 divide that out by the circular mill that they had which was 16,510 that is a 8 volt drop roundup okay now if we do that again 3 times 60 foot times 12 for constant times 60 amps and divide that by 24 to 60 for a six gauge wire you can see that's only five volt drop almost four divide that out by 208 volts you should see it's a two and a half percent we basically increased the voltage drop one and a half percent because we went up from an 8 gauge wire to a 6 gauge wire. Again, you increase that circular mill size, you're going to get more current flow and voltage flow. But as your voltage goes up, your current goes down. If that's loose, your voltage is going to drop, your current's going to spike. Again, widen that circular mill size no different than an, uh, a highway with two lanes and you open it up to four. And you have how many cars going back and forth as your electron flow back and forth? Same thing. I know you guys don't think of it as pressure or I don't know however you want to say it, the potential, the voltage. But if your connections are loose, 
and that's what we were experiencing that voltage is going to change therefore our voltage drop will increase because there is resistance because things are loose on our connections of our blue wire caps and on our breaker as well as our gauge wire was smaller when we cleaned everything up the mechanic who's been doing this for 30 years who was putting back together the car the tech he said we increased his machine from anywhere to 80 to 90 percent to 99 percent accuracy on the spot weld and that spot welder machine i've wired a few of those those are pretty smart machines so it actually cleaned it up and said hey that's perfect um so again i wanted to show you that volt calculation that voltage drop we also did a voltage drop and i'll explain it on the lighting issue they were having in the building with a flickering we think it's due to the fact the service is just undersized um, but again 210.19 it also refers you just so you guys know um, to 215.a or 2a1 and then there was an appendix in the back actually voltage drop uh, ties to like I told you chapter 8 table 9 so you can figure out your circular mill size so keep all of that in mind when you guys are looking at that that that's where you're going to be paying attention to um, and it's important because if you're having things flicker and things not um, that are not correct with lights or and or their equipment you got to look at what is installed how it's installed and most of all that voltage drop as well thanks guys